Hello, type to see In today's video, I'll be showing you how to adjust the kerning in a text in Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I created a text right here, as you can see. Let's say we want to adjust the kerning of some of the letters. We can do that in a really simple way. But the first thing you want to make sure is that your text isn't outlined. And that means that you can select the type tool and edit the text. Okay, so let's try to adjust the kerning. Let's say we want to add more space right here. We can do that in a simple way. Just select the letter right here and go up in your top toolbar right here and press on this character right here. It is also the character panel. And this menu will pop up. You can also go up in Windows, go down to Type and choose Character. The keyboard shortcut for that is Control T. And the same menu will pop up right here. Okay, so if you go down here, there is these four options. There is the set of the font size, the leading of the text, and the kerning between two characters. And there is this tracking where you can set the tracking for the selected characters and that is the one we'll be using today to adjust the kerning so as i said before we want to add more space right here we want to remove all of the text to the right and we can do that if we want to add the space right here we can just select the k right here the first letter and we can just by clicking on this up arrow right here you can see that all of this text is moving to the right. You can set this to whatever you would like, depending on how much space you would like right here. And you can see that if we press on this, it will add more space. And if we press down, it will remove space. So let's set this to 50. We can just take a copy of this text and set this to zero so you can see the difference. So as you can see, there is a pretty big difference right here. And that's because we have adjusted the kerning. And you can do this with any character. You can also do it with multiple characters. If we select the K again right here and set it to zero as the standard, we can also select two characters and do the same. I will add more space here and here. And from here you can just start to adjust the kerning of the different letters. Just as you would like. And that is how we adjust the kerning in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.